Good afternoon, everyone. I'm King Five meteorologist Adam Claybon. Uh, happy Thursday to all of you. Our warm up that it's going to be more noticeable starts today. We see another pretty warm day tomorrow too before we head into the holiday weekend. Cooler weather, but overall really comfortable weather. Temperatures maybe just slightly above some of those seasonal averages. We're going to go ahead and talk about what's happening today because the sun has really been more of a theme here this afternoon. Uh, we've seen some clouds around the past few days and they've kind of mixed in with the sunshine. Not really the case today. You can see looking alive from our Queen Anne uh, camera right there over Seattle. Sunny skies, temperatures warming up because of that too. We're going to see more of the same here really pretty much throughout the entire area here in western Washington. Same deal for us in Everett as we look live there at Payne Field and the push also getting in on a lot of the sunshine here this Thursday afternoon. Even seeing our school that side of Granite Falls after some cloudier days here earlier into the week, we're noticing more sunshine than anything else. And then up at Paradise, that uh, looks like our camera is out. Oh, there it goes. Came right back in for us. A few more clouds up that way, and really we're expecting more clouds across the mountains because we could see the small chance of a shower or maybe a storm here later this afternoon. Uh, Hurricane Ridge and up across the Olympics, yes, yeah, some additional clouds, but I think overall we're going to keep a lot of the rain away from there. So it's Thursday. We like to take a look at the drought monitor on Thursdays, and here it is. The latest one just released this morning shows abnormally dry soil here across eastern parts of Puget Sound and up across the Cascades, and it looks like right there along the north coast of the Olympic Peninsula, plus seeing some of that over our island communities too. So we could use a little more rain, just doesn't look like we're going to see much of that at all. Here are your temperatures. You can see warming up now here across the Pacific Northwest. A lot more 70s as opposed to the 50s we had in place earlier into the week. And that's already here as about the lunch hour into your Thursday. So we're up by 5 to 8 degrees here across western Washington. And you can see that what that means for our temperatures right now. 68 in Remington, 71 in Renton, sitting at 69 in Tacoma. Some 50s, yeah, up around Oak Harbor. That's one of the cooler spots. But generally, we're talking about upper 60s and low 70s. Throughout the day, we'll see those highs bounce back up into the mid 70s before falling back down into the 50s and possibly a few upper 40s by early tomorrow morning. Now you can see the satellite and radar picture does show some areas of showers and storms now beginning to develop across the northern part of the state that spin in the atmosphere. A little weak area of low pressure helping to kind of drive all of that. It's going to try to sneak again closer to us as we go later into the afternoon up across the North Cascades. Better chances of seeing some of that there. Uh, maybe even the foothill areas of northern Snohomish County, Skagit and Whatcom County keeping it outside chance of maybe a shower or a storm popping up for you too. But overall, high pressure is the dominant feature, so that will mean quiet conditions here as we go over the next few days. Here we are into the evening. You can see those showers trying to sneak their way across the Cascades. Don't really do much of so. Now we head into the day tomorrow, and this is where we're going to see some changes, at least for some of us. Out there along the coast, you can start to see it, this milky sort of color starting to show up and across parts of southwest interior too. That's the marine air that's going to come in for the weekend and cool us down. So I think today out along the coast, we're talking about the warmest temperatures that we're going to see here throughout the week. Then that will start to work its way eastward as we head on into the upcoming weekend. And speaking of that, you can see the showers and the storms. They flare up a little bit heading into the day Saturday, mostly eastern Washington and across the Cascades. A little of anything expected for Sunday and then even less expected across the region for Monday on Memorial Day. And we'll keep that trend going on to Tuesday too, as it looks like, yeah, we are going to stay dry for quite some time. Warming up though, up to around 82 degrees tomorrow afternoon, then seeing a lot of low 70s right around the upper 70s, lower uh, upper 60s, lower 70s here for a long stretch of time, starting up on Saturday. With that average high at 68, that's going to feel really comfortable for a lot of us. Today's forecast, 72 in Blaine, mid 70s in Linden. We top off at 74 in Arlington. Southward, you can see some of those highs a bit warmer, mid to upper 70s here. Issaquah, 77, 77. 75 in Kingston, seeing highs across South Sound in those mid to upper 70s as well, with plenty of sun ahead for your Thursday afternoon. Tonight's forecast, again, generally just low 50s, but a few upper 40s could be possible. Forks right there dropping down to 49 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast after topping off at 82 tomorrow. We're going to be in a store for a long stretch of 70s as we head on into your Memorial Day weekend, plus the end of the month of May, and then heading on into the start, it looks like, of the month of June as we get closer and closer closer to the official start of summer with the unofficial start, what some like to call it uh, here heading into this coming Monday. Well, everyone take care. Have a tremendous Thursday. We're going to talk to you soon.